المنیر فاؤنڈیشن اور رحم ٹی وی کے سی ای او مولانا سید فاد حسین نے اس موقع پر اپنے خیالات کا اظہار کرتے ہوئے کہا السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ الحمد للہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاۃ والسلام علی رسول الکریم اما بعد ٹرے ار یونائٹیڈ ہیئر آن دس مسلم ڈے پریڈ ٹو شو یونیٹی ٹو شو دیٹ وی آر یونائٹیڈ فار پیس So first thing is we need to understand what is peace. The definition of peace is when you give rights to the, deser to the deserving people. If there is a person who deserves a right and you give that right to that person, that means that you have stood for peace. Because Allah, He created everything with a right. Allah says in the Quran, خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ بِالْحَقِّ He is the one who created the heavens and the earth and whatever is contained in the heavens and the earth بِالْحَقِّ And He gave a right to each one of them. And if you want to call yourself ambassador of peace, a representative of peace, then you have to stand to give the right that God gave to everybody. And that ambassador of peace is our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Through his teachings, he taught us not only how to give the rights to the human beings, he told us how to give rights to the animals, how to give rights to the plants, how to, the, how to give the rights to the things that don't even speak, like the thing, like the water, like the soil, and like the stones. Even to the angels, if there is a creation of God, our beloved Prophet وسلم, through his teachings, he showed us how everybody could be delivered their rights. And now, people talk about, they disrespect our beloved Prophet وسلم, and they misunderstand his teachings. They say that he was the person who fought battles. Well, his battles were the battles of peace. His battles, he fought all his life. He fought 10 years of his life out of 23 years of his prophet, time of his prophethood. Out of those 23 years, 10 years he fought the battles of peace. To make sure he changes the, ch the time, he changes the system where the women were buried alive. He made sure the women get right. He wanted to make sure that the slaves get right. He wanted to make sure that every person, every living being gets right. That's why his battles were the battles of peace. It was just like the battles that were fought by the presidents and the founding fathers of this country. They also fought the battles, but that those battles were not to bring unrest. Those battles were not to cause anarchy. Those battles were the battles of peace and they were the, to so, so that the cha they can change the system of life. In the same way, our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, after he, he married, he married different wives to show how to give the rights to the women. People say they, they disrespect him. They raise questions against him. They say that he married different wives. He had 11 wives. Well, he married 11 wives so that he can show to the whole world how these women, how these women can be given their rights. How they are not the object of lust. They are not the object of lust and desire. They are the object of, they are just an equal human being and they need to be given a right. His first wife, he married the first wife to show the mankind how a woman who has shown, who has seen two previous husbands and she is a widow, how such a woman could be given a right. He married Sayyidina Aisha radiallahu anha to show the mankind how a young woman could be given a right. He married different women to show how the prisoners of war should be given a right and so forth. This is amazing. His life is beautiful. So nobody is allowed to disrespect this ambassador of peace. Because if you do so, then you are the person who are the perpetrator of anarchy. You are a person you li who like political and social disorder in this world. And this world has become a global village. It's one, this whole world has become as a continent of the same country. So if you cause this unrest in one part of the world, the effect, the ripple effect would be seen and felt in all the parts of the world. So people who have, who have disrespected our Prophet Sallallahu or have intended to do so, they are the perpetrators of unrest and anarchy. We appeal 
And we demand from this country of United States and the people of United States to stand firm against this anarchy, to stand firm against this terrorism that is caused by disrespecting the ambassador of peace, by disrespecting the ambassador of peace, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you have not only disrespected the mankind, you have disrespected the whole creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to stand united and stand firm and upright in the upbringing of this country and to bring peace not only in this country and but in the whole world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and accept our efforts. Wa akhru da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Thank you brother Fahad.